So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am of course Lethal Apollo. Hope everybody's doing fine and well. Having a great day. This is going to be an updated version of the Golden Sport quest in Blood of the Dead Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now Treyarch did an update a few days ago which was an 11 gigabyte update and some of the easter egg steps had changed to some quests. They didn't tell us exactly what but the Golden Spork was one that was affected. So there's been a step added to the Golden Sport quest guys. I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. If this video helps you out, drop me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. Okay, so first steps first guys, you're going to want to get the power on. As soon as you get the power on, you want to start collecting your shield pieces and build it as soon as possible. I recommend doing this on round 1, there is a guide on my channel, you can check it out, links in description if you need help with that. If you do the shield on round 1 guys, on round 2 it will be a dog round, so you can use the dog round to fully charge your shield, which will enable us to get the spork early in our game. So go ahead and charge your shield, once you've got 2 charges, you need to work on filling up the dog heads so you can collect the Hell's Retriever. Once you've got the Hell's Retriever and two full charges on your shield, make your way to the Warden's office and look through the shield in spectral mode, you'll see three numbers. Make a note of those numbers and now make your way into the Citadel tunnels to the little power box. So just head straight down to the power box and when we get to the power box we're going to shock it with the shield and enter the numbers that we were just given in the warden's office. In our gameplay it was 292, your gameplay it might be something completely different. So as I said make a note of the numbers. Your character will make a quote saying something like that looks okay and then you can make your way down to the docks. Just come out onto the dock area, again use your shield to shield blast this power meter, that will activate the crane and you can also collect your blue skulls for the blunder gap. While you're here you might as well do it and make sure you're being efficient in your game, but once the crane arrives above this pallet you want to throw your tomahawk up at it, the spoon will fall on the box, go ahead pick it up, you've now got the spoon. So, okay, you can now move on to the next step, guys. We're going to need an upgraded blunder gap. So, as I said, you can either get one for free by collecting all of the blue skulls and picking the blunder gap up from the warden's office, or you can also get one from the mystery box and build the acid gap version. The acid gap version works fine for the golden spork upgrade, so you can do that. It is completely fine, but in my gameplay, I decided to use the magna gap, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to the magna gap by putting it in the warden's fireplace heating it up throughout the map and then placing it in the new industries machine now we've got an upgraded version of the blunder gap we can move on to the final steps of getting the golden spork take care of this warden nice and easy just shoot it at the floor at his feet should kill him pretty instantaneously and now we want to make our way back through the fast travel and up through the cafeteria onto the rooftop. Just as you're coming through to the rooftop, there's one bathtub on its own in this room. Go ahead and place your spoon in that bath and then carry on to the roof. Now the new step that's been added is just after you've finished killing all the zombies and drain the bath, you need to actually shoot the water tower down. There's four little areas that you need to shoot. I'll show you all four of them in this gameplay. You can get two of them from the rooftop. Or you can get two from the catwalk and you can get them from the catwalk area in between the prison and the catwalk. So go ahead and kill your zombies on the roof. It's going to take around two or three rounds, probably around 30 zombies. And as soon as the bathtub's filled, you want to make your way down, hold square, X, or action on PC to drain the bath. Now instead of just going straight down to the catwalk like we normally would do, you want to make your way back up onto the roof. And just where I'm aiming now, there's like a piece of metal that'll fall off. You can also see a second one slightly above it, 
but I didn't shoot it in this gameplay. It's the one that I'm shooting now. You can also get that one from the roof. You can also shoot them from this area just in between the main prison and catwalk. And you can also get them from the catwalk. But once you've shot those four pieces down guys, the water tower is now going to collapse. And again your character will make some kind of funny quote. And we can move on to the final step of collecting the golden spork. So now just run over, throw your tomahawk down, you want to line your sights up with the pipe roughly. Throw your tomahawk down and you should get the golden spork guys. So that was the added extra step. Pretty annoying from Treyarch because it actually took me a day to figure it out. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out actually. I knew the tower collapsed so I should have guessed. But never mind, we know now. So that is the upgraded version. Guys, if this video helped you out at all, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so that way you never miss any of my uploads. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I've been Lethal Apollo, you guys have been amazing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, have a great time.